Yo, what's up? We are now in front of my house. It's freaking Christmas over here. <laughs> but you see, we have two Model 3s here. And if you guys, if you guys haven't watched the previous episode, <laughs> the one to the right here is, uh, well, actually to the left, depending on how you see it. But okay, this one is MC Hammer, you recognize it. And here we have a branch banking new Tesla Model 3. This is not made in China, it's from Fremont. I checked it, but it has heat pump, it has motorized liftgate, the new center console, uh, the double glass. And in this video, I will measure how efficient the heat pump is. It's three degrees Celsius outside, which is perfect conditions for the heat pump. I measured before that MC Hammer usually pulls around. Well, you can come back to that, but what I'm going to do is to keep these two cars running with the heater on through the afternoon and evening now and see after many hours how much battery they have lost. So that would be an indication of how efficient these cars are. And they will be side by side, just camped here with the same driving conditions. Now they've been also they've been preheating for well over an hour. So both cars should have the nice temperature. That's also very important because the temperature the, in both cars interior need to be kind of even out climatized to the 21 degrees Celsius I've set it to. So um, I guess we can start recording the data in the new car first. So see, this car is branch banking new. It has done 65 kilometers only. Uh, so we actually have to assume that a full battery uh, from 100% to zero should be 63 to six, no, no, 73 to 75 kilowatt hour. Yeah, I have to measure it, but uh, that's that's what we have to see. My, my car has some degradation. I'll come back to that. But so because we need that number to estimate how much energy this car uses. I haven't connected uh, scan my Tesla to it yet, but we can do this test without it for now. You see, it's four in the afternoon now. And what I will do now, I've been using the Keep Climate On, which actually preheats the battery. So the battery by now should be around 25 degrees Celsius. Now we will use camp mode. Camp mode will not run the battery heater and we set it to temperature will be 21 degrees Celsius auto. That's it. There is no eco setting on the on the air conditioning. And now we will let it run and we set up the same thing in uh, my car. And then in the car with the old with well, the PTC heater, my car, we also set this to camp mode. And it just happened to be at exactly 56% right now. My car, okay, since I have scanned my Tesla, then what I can do is go here and then reset trip. And now it will start counting. So this makes it slightly easier for me on this car, uh, which is that uh, here, now the energy here, it will start counting how much energy we spend. So, but we can also write down 56%. So now we have two measurement points and let me just show you here that uh, we also have 21 degrees Celsius auto, same here. And we have to, to reduce the amount of measurement error. We have to camp here a while. Uh, this is four in the afternoon now. Ideally, we should camp here for like six hours, at least four hours. So we'll see then how long I'll stay here. All right, it's been almost three hours now and I noticed something which is kind of weird because uh, I've been inside. I haven't touched these cars at all. In here you see the, the camp mode screen. This one is blacked out, but you see that we have light in the wood footwell. So, and I also checked the app, the camp mode is active. Just a big mystery why it's like that. And also another thing I want to just double check is when you stand here, if the stators would be active for some reason to heat up the battery, we would hear that high pitch noise. I can't hear anything. So they haven't been running. Wow, look here, the clock. Oh, yeah, but it's been three hours now. We started with 62%, we now have 59%. So it means that we spent 3% after three hours. So that's 1% per hour. And that means uh, seven, well, 730, let's say round, round about 700 watts to keep the, the climate here nice and warm. So that is uh, actually on par with some of the uh, Korean cars. They could, have, they could even be more efficient. You know, from what I remember, the Korean cars pull only about 300 to 500 watts. But okay, let's check out my car with PTC heater. 
Ah, this is I know why. <laughs> nice. You see, it's it's dimmed to the lowest level. Uh, MC Hammer has been updated with the latest version, and then uh, I like this one because then camp mode uh, doesn't have that big ass screen on all the night through the night. So let's see now. Just it's just tap to receive. Yes. Ah. Okay. Yeah. All right. But um, forty six percent. What? I have to check my notes here. How many percent did I start with? Are you serious? I started with 56%. I spent 10%. Wow. 10% versus 3%. Okay, I have a little bit of degradation, or fair enough, but still, that is a huge difference. And let's look here. Um, oh, okay, I had to fire up. This is OBD again. It's got my Tesla. It's additional uh, stuff. I will hook, hook up the other car to it also if I can. But just show you here. You see, we are stationary and we are pulling around two kilowatt. I pointed out this many, many times before that there's something weird with, I don't know if it's my car or just in generic for a Tesla Model 3, at least in the past, that they are very thirsty. And we can see here, huh, what? It didn't work? My counter didn't work? Scheiße! Okay, but whatever, 46, okay, we have more accurate number here, so 46.6%. <laughs> what? Okay, and cell temperature, it was 20 something, so the temperature has uh, cooled, I mean, the, the pack has cooled down naturally, but you see, it's so warm that we don't get any uh, energy unavailable, you know, there is no, there is no blue stuff here, same with the other cars, so at least you know, we eliminate that error factor, whatever, but uh, okay, let's get over to the other car, I have to crunch some numbers here. All right, let me summarize now. So the new car spend only 3% uh, total, so that's 1% per hour. And then we can say around 730 to 750 watts. And then the new, uh, the, the old car spend 9.4% or around 3.1% per hour. And then I have to assume that, okay, my car has some degradation, so I don't have 73 kilowatt hour, I have only 68 kilowatt hour. So for me, it means 2.1 kilowatt. So 2.1 kilowatt versus 750 watt, that is huge. That is actually three times difference. And uh, what does it mean, uh, you know, if you're driving, then uh, the, the power draw to, for the heater is, is higher for both the cars. But if we assume that the difference would be 1,500 watts, then at, if you're driving at 100 kilometers per hour, that means 15 watt hour per kilometer difference. And this, this actually, I think if I remember correctly, this corresponds with what, the, what I did earlier. I did a video where I tried to estimate the difference. And I think then, yeah, I used an i3, but you see, now we are getting, with this car here with the heat pump, we are getting similar values like the i3. Maybe if we use some of the Korean cars, they would be even more efficient. But I think, yeah, uh, I've, I remember now, when I used Ionic or Kona or whatever, and I, I managed to pull only 300 to 500 watt, that was with driver only mode, which only heats up this section. But here we actually heat up uh, more of the car. So that could explain why. But wow, so <laughs> again, first I was a little bit shocked that it was that big difference. But um, on the other hand, I remember that uh, my MC Hammer, you know, was very inefficient. I made many videos about this, if you know my channel. I pointed out early when I received the car that that car was really thirsty. But I also figured out that in camp mode, you know, you can set some settings you can tweak it, don't have the fan too high or whatever, and then the power draw will not be 2.1 kilowatt. Then we are talking about one, one and a half kilowatt, which is way better. But another thing I noticed is that in MC Hammer, in the old car, the evaporator, the AC icon there, the blue icon down there, is active most of the time. I think it tries to remove moisture or something, it could be because it's raining outside today. But in the new car with heat pump, it's mostly off. Maybe, okay, I'm not an expert on this, maybe you guys have to, have to explain, but maybe something to have to do with that we are already running a heat pump and therefore it doesn't run the evaporator or something, I, I don't know. But from what my, I've seen, my experience is that when we, I tested with uh, Millennium Falcon, my Tesla Model S, and I believe maybe I also tested this with, um, with Optimus Prime and Model X, 
and I tr I tried to run the, the the evaporator on and off, and it seems to make a, a significant difference. And it looks like the evaporator might run uh, might pull about one kilowatt. So of course, if we force it off, we we'll, might get a little bit more moisture in the old car, but then we'll be, suddenly be down to you know, maybe one kilowatt instead of two kilowatt. But still, yeah, interesting. Finally, I found out how efficient the new car is and uh, it's kind of tempting. But on the other hand, like I pointed out before, it's not the end of the world because Tesla, fortunately, they, they, they are very efficient. Uh, they, um, they have good range, they have really good charging network, they charge fast, they can pre-condition the battery. So, uh, in a way, okay, I mentioned 15 watt hour per kilometer. You know, it sounds like a lot, right? But when you think about this, if you drive, let's say, 200 kilometers stretch uh, before, who's that? Oh, okay, my neighbor. He just, he just bought an ESOL. He's super happy with it. He watched my videos before he bought it. But um, let's say you drive a two kilo 200 kilometer stretch, something, what is, uh, I, th I think the car is burning, okay. Uh, that means that uh, you will uh, burn 200 times, you, you burn a three kilowatt hour extra energy on, on 200, so you know, if you follow me, that car will consume three kilowatt hour more than this one on a typical stretch. And then, let me see, quick math here, uh, and then, when you supercharge, if we get 120 kilowatts, then we can take three divided by 120, okay, times 60. Yeah, so the difference in supercharging time is just one and a half minute. So I'm not defending my own choice here of having the old car. I'm just saying that for people who still have the old car without heat pump, it's not going to mean the end of the world, mainly because, as I mentioned, Tesla, they have good supercharging network, they can charge fast. In a car that doesn't charge that fast, then it would be a bigger deal. But for Tesla, no big deal. But of course, I still want to get a Tesla with heat pump. But I'm waiting for the fat cells also. This one, I believe, has a 2170 cell still. So I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.